right, well, here I finally got my DVD today after it was done almost a month ago, but it took forever to get here. So um, this is the image I always start with, I try to start with, because it kind of shows you generally what's going on. So once again, brain's normal, bladder normal, kidneys, that's normal to see that dark. Um, you see a lot of little spots in here. That's just my intestines, and that's fairly normal. I've had some intestinal issues, so it's not surprising to see more activity there because of the inflammation. What's interesting is this left lung. This is the left lung. Now, um, what, they're, what they're thinking is that some of the nodules are joining together, um, but it's really... I mean, when I show you some of the other images, it's really hard to tell for sure what's really going on. It's just a lot of these little areas that are just kind of, like I said, joining together. But what's causing that? Is it inflammation? Is it cancer? That we don't know for 100% certain. Um, but that left lung is <clears throat> definitely getting hammered. The lung tissue itself doesn't look bad. So we'll go ahead and look at the colored image, you can kind of get a better idea. Um, what I did notice is that there's hardly any lymph nodes popping up like there had been before. So there's usually, there's a lot of lymph nodes that pop up in here. It's pretty quiet. And yeah, there's a, this is the top of the lung. So you can see, this is the right lung, this is the left lung. And you can see, it's just, it's like a halo around the lung. And you'll also see the loculated um, pleural effusion. So that's the pocket starting there. So that's fluid that's next to my lung on my left side. So not only is my left lung getting squished by this, it's getting squished by the inflammation of the sac. I'm going to call inflammation of the sac around the heart, excuse me, around the lung, um, because we don't know for certain what it is. Um, it could be the body responding to the medication and actually attacking the cancer. We don't know. We don't have done a biopsy to, to, to determine that. Um, but you can see that the the localized pleural effusion is before it used to be just kind of around the lung in the previous scans, but this is like a bubble of fluid. And it's near the this is the back side of me, so it's near the back side. And um and I'm wondering how much the pleural effusions have to do with this halo around my lung. You can see how thick that membrane is too. I mean this side you can't see anything. It's that's all healthy lung tissue. And here, I mean that's that's just it's really, really thick. And I'm not sure, we're not sure exactly what's going on, but you can see how thick it is there. How th you know, here's the bone, there's the bone, and there's this thickness here. So there's we don't I don't know if this is this could be more fluid, more pockets of fluid. Um but, or it could be just um, swelling. I'm not really an expert in this stuff, but you can see how thick that is compared to what's nothing. There's nothing over there. Between the dark and the bone, there's like barely a little line. And here it's much thicker. So there's something definitely going on with the pleural sac. But, um, but as you go through the rest of the scan, we're kind of looking at... <clears throat> there are the hearts there, a little bit of pile lymph node, subcarnal lymph node. I think I remember seeing that in the report. Um, probably that's probably just one of the uterus to the uh, kidney. And then again, that's that just these are just the kidney, so that's all normal. Intestinal stuff. Not a whole lot to report. I mean, there's a little activity on that. Looks maybe like a T12. And then an L4 that they said there was also, and then there's here. But if you look, there's not like, there's not a hole. It's just a hot spot. So that's interesting. There's, there doesn't seem to be bone missing. So it's not lytic, which means it's not eating the bone, but there's activity there. So that's something to keep an eye on. It could be cancerous activity starting, or it could be dying down. Um, I think I'm going the wrong way. So there's those two spots that were in the report. Now I've been having pain in my sacrum, but I think it's just because I've been having intestinal issues still. But there's really this, there's not much to report on this scan other than the lung issue. 
So, I mean, if you keep an eye on the spine, it's pretty clean. It's just, it's just all about this lung. A couple of lymph nodes here, lymph node there, but again, um, they said that they showed in one of the other pictures that they were not as active as before. All right, so the good news, the, the pocket of fluid. Again, the right lung is very healthy. There's a little bit of something right there. Hmm. All right, so I didn't see that the first time I looked through here. So that's on the right side, kind of off to the side of the uh, manubrium or the sternum. But there's really not a whole lot going on. Was that my port? That looks like that's my port right there. <laughs> All right. Um, and there's that spot again. Really not a whole lot going on. This was the, probably the little hot spot they noted in the, um, the report on the liver. But there's, there's no obvious tumor. It's just a hot spot. So really... I mean, besides that little hot spot there, and the one further down, you know, the two on the two on the um, iliac bones or the hip bones, you can call it. Those two little guys there, things look pretty damn good. I'm kind of surprised. What's this? I think this is a top view. Yeah, this is a top down. So you can see again, left lung, right side lung. You can see that the pocket, you know, the lungs in there is getting squished by the sac itself being inflamed or thickening for whatever reason. The fluid, pocket of fluid, there's another more pocket of fluid. So it actually just looks like there's two, but they didn't really de describe that very well. And you can see the little hot spot there and the other one probably on this side right there. But the spine, if you kind of look up and down, but there's that one little hot spot there. The spine itself is pretty damn good. The bones are good. Um, the lungs are the lungs themselves are good. The pleural sac around this left lung is toast. It's just it's 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 getting ruined. <laughs> and then hopefully these uh, little pockets of fluid will go in there on because they can. Um, they're not really bothering me too much, so they're not we're not going to worry about it unless it starts bothering me. But overall. It's an improvement from the last time. There was a lot more lymph nodes last time. Um, so that's that's a big plus. So again, there's there's the you know the uh, 360 view. Again, a lot of this is probably just a little intestinal spots where my intestines are irritated. I have colon issues, so but again, the normal stuff here. But you know, there th these are most likely lymph nodes here. But before there was a lot more. So you can go back and look at one of my previous videos and see that, that yes, this is worse. And we don't know why it's worse. And we don't know what's really going on there. But we're going to be keeping an eye on it. It's not, it's not, everything else is quieting down. So we're going to kind of go with the quieting down part. Because like I said before, um, you can't burn through your treatments when you're at stage four. Because when you burn through all your treatments and you run out of treatments, then you die. So we want to try to see how long we can make this treatment work for. And hopefully, now that I'm on a regular schedule, and I wasn't on a regular schedule before, hopefully this will start to calm down. Now that I'm not getting my lung drained every two weeks, I haven't had it drained now for a month and a half. That's really good. And I got it drained three times in December. So that's a huge improvement. Um, so hopefully when we do our next scan, probably in April, hopefully this will be a lot quieter. Hopefully, <laughs> we won't know until you know April. So, but overall, I'm I'm happy with the results. Um, trying to see if there's anything else I really want to show you. I think this is just an MRI. Yeah, this is just a regular old colorless scan. You can see the bubble of fluid there and how it's really thick there. But um, really, not much to report other than the lung being really really jacked up so um, this is the only screen that they kind of showed a before and after or so this is um, back last year quite a ways back and this is this year's so um, 
last year but you can see how that one is way bigger but it's smaller here and this one's kind of um, a newer one it wasn't there before and you can see that this was the pleural fusion see that there and then you can just see here it's just kind of like a swelling you know it's probably still fluid there but it's um, it's like uniform all the way around so that's interesting so that's the only lymph node that they really talked about changing more active was this little one here but I have a feeling that's linked to what's going on over here but I don't know I just I have a feeling but anyway overall not bad I think that the uh, Tukaiza the 5-FU and um, the the uh, fol folinic acid that they're using to help the chemo last longer is working for the most part I'm not saying it's I'm not saying that this is signs of it working this could be signs of it working or it could be signs of it not working it could be signs of um, her two negative cells in there multiplying I don't know we won't know more until April but it looks good so otherwise um, you know uh, I'll keep you informed of anything that's going on. I think I got a head cold. <laughs> I, it could be just allergies, but I had a little bit of a fever this morning. I'm still doing my chemo right now, so. <clears throat> but I don't feel too bad, so it's um, it's questionable whether or not it's a cold or if it's just from the chemo, you know, kind of screwing with me. Hopefully it's just the chemo and the allergies and, I'm, you know, <laughs> not COVID, you know. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. If I have any questions, 